This is a video recorded public notice. This public notice is titled Cease the Misuse of Hydrants and Lawn Watering Systems. Subtitle Humidity Awareness. This recording was provided by Platinum TV. Once again, this is a video, video recording of uh, some uh, uh, newly regulated guideline, guidelines. Uh, my name is Tariq Grant. And I am the overseer of these regulations. All right. Uh, the name of this public notice. All right. This is a cease of details. All right. The title of this public notice. Cease the misuse of hydrants and lawn watering systems. Subtitle of this a public notice is humidity awareness. All right, so uh, these regulations are uh, based on um, uh, uh, temperature uh, control. All right, uh, climate control. All right. Um, um, balancing all right uh, better conditions all right so these are uh, these policies are Authorized and um, constructed uh, to uh, uh, regulate our climate conditions. All right. So this is a cease on the misuse of fire hydrants. All right. And uh, lawn watering systems or sprinkler, sprinkler, sprinkle, sprinkler systems. All right. All right. So uh, our regulations include. All right. Or oh, this reg this regulation includes. All right. Uh, decease on the misuse of all irrigation systems. All right. An overflow of water and humidity are directly related. All right. So there's a direct correlation uh, between uh, an overflow of water and an accumulation of humidity, and uh, that affects our climate. All right. Our climate conditions. All right. So humidity awareness is the subtitle of this post. That'll be one of the ways um, for you to search for uh, this this uh, specific public notice. Humidity plays a huge role on our climate condition. It impacts agriculture and our crops, which affects our food. It affects the spreading of germs and disease. 
all right, or should I say it contributes to the spreading of germs and disease. It affects our oxygen, how we recover from illness. It affects our comfort. It affects our animals. All right, so we are still uh, uh, discussing we are on the topic of humidity awareness, all right? It affects our animals, all right? Um, uh, we have uh, the term uh, um, global, war global warming, all right? Uh, so uh, there are a variety of activities that affect uh, global warming, all right, um, or that is uh, at fault, all right, um, but we are um, uh, we are Separating um, uh, what uh, we can uh, change, all right, um, especially as um, as individuals, all right, and just being aware, all right. Um, like I said, there's global warming, which um, um, a lot of uh, corporate uh, field activities are responsible. All right, um, but then there are uh, um, um, then there's awareness um, such as uh, being mindful of um, running uh, fire hydrants and not using them or not misusing them. All right, so um, global warming and uh, humidity, uh, or should I say, warming? Uh, all right, uh, the war the uh, the warming of air. All right, uh, that's uh, essentially what humidity um, is or what humidity leads to, all right? So, um, we have a humidity awareness, all right? We have global warming. Um, we have uh, the destruction of our ozone layer. All right, we have climate correction. We have uh, uh, drastic uh, weather shifts, all right, which leads to uh, uh, natural disasters, all right? Um, it is all related, all right? Um, uh, and then we have the, the earth regenerating itself, which is a form of cleansing, all right? Uh, repurposing, all right? Getting rid of uh, damage, damaging or harmful organs, all right? Um, uh, uh, the earth, uh, the universe, uh, considers people um, as being damaging, all right, and harmful, all right? Um, um, and uh, uh, unfulfilling. All right, in terms of purpose. All right. Uh, some people are useless. All right, and unless we, uh, unless uh, you guys, all right, pay attention to our public notices. All right, uh, that's what you will be uh, to our planet. All right, useless. All right. So we have to be mindful of what is damaging to our earth. All right. Today's date is um, August 22nd, the year 2023. It is Tuesday. All right. Uh, last month, which was July, um, it was extremely humid. 
All right, let me make sure that we are still recording. All right, we are broadcasting live from Platinum Studio, Platinum TV Studio in the Bronx. All right, so last month it was extremely humid. And I did realize that uh, um, the constant running of our resources, of our water, the constant running of the fire hydrants in New York City was, um, um, was um, in part to blame, all right, for um, all of the humidity that we were experiencing, which was very unpleasant. All right, so I did make an announcement uh, via... Um, uh, our news, views, and current events uh, uh, news segment, all right, um, to uh, cease, all right, the um, use of uh, using fire hydrants um, for cooling systems, and I explained that um, the benefits uh, may uh, seem worth it. All right, there may be some uh, media benefits, um, but um, in the long run, it is um, it is uh, uh, um, a negative. All right, in 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 the uh, in the bigger picture, it is a huge negative. All right, so that was explained, and um, uh, since then. All right, since the announcement, uh, uh, the, the fire hydrants have been carefully monitored in New York City. And I don't notice any uh, misuse of the hydrants um, no longer, all right, any longer. And now it is enjoyable to be outside, all right. Um, um, it feels uh, like what summer should be. And it is no longer a humidity crisis, all right? It is no longer a humidity crisis, all right? So uh, I don't have to use uh, my air conditioner as much. And it is enti entirely much more comfortable in my apartment today than it was a month ago. All right, so it's been cooler ever since um, uh, we've adjusted, all right? Right, so uh, there's been a cease of these uh, habits of rampant uh, running hydrants. All right, so that is confirmation um, uh, that there's a direct correlation. All right, to uh, the running fire hydrants and humidity and just uh, our climate conditions. All right. So, um, all right, um, so we do have confirmation, all right, this is that, that, uh, that can be considered, um, a, uh, a, uh, a proven, uh, hypothesis, all right, so it's a theory that's been proven. Um, um, but um, if activity like that is affecting New York City, uh, then uh, all, all similar misuse of water and water tools everywhere has to cease, all right? Because um, uh, um, just, just uh, not being aware, all right? Uh, and uh, and taking advantage or, or just uh, 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 um, uh, considering uh, the benefits of uh, the immediate benefits of a running fire hydrant uh, and not understanding 
um, the overall uh, impact. Um, um, is 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 uh, uh, is a is a overlook. All right, and um, um, that simple. Well, that simple. Well, that's a big overlook. All right. Um, but, uh, it's, it's been unaddressed, um, well, un, unaddressed properly, um, and, and not enforced, uh, correctly because, uh, uh, the ramifications wasn't communicated, um, to the population well enough, all right? Uh, but now there's a, there is a, a major understanding and 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 uh, uh, violating these policies, uh, these public notices, these mandates, um, this it, it, it will affect uh, your life, all right, in a negative way, all right, because uh, uh, the planet is first, all right. So, um, uh, similar misuse uh, everywhere has to cease, all right. Even a leaky faucet has major implications, or can have, or can have major implication, implications as it pertains to our air, oxygen, uh, temperature, humidity, uh, contamination, debris, uh, rust. All right, uh, all of uh, these uh, agents, all right, in the air uh, leads to less less oxygen in the air. All right, and should not be tolerated. All right, so we are going to try to, try to, uh, to, uh, concise this information all right as we close all right if you compile less oxygen in the air due to a rise in humidity along with our forests and trees being destroyed and torched then you now have a competition for air a competition for air throughout the universe all right and that is exactly a reflection of what had what the universe has become all right a, a competition for space and clean air all right and most of us take oxygen for granted all right so uh um we do have a ro rotating scope of our earth on our display and I want to give you guys a quick example of of um, how a small area, a small uh, polluted area um, that is unchecked can eventually contaminate uh, the surrounding areas uh, to to the extent, to the extent, to the extent of uh, unlivable, unlivable conditions. All right. So, uh, and and uh, and a room, like a room. All 
All right. Uh, in a in a in a apartment, or better yet, a closet. All right. Um, a closet or a cabinet. In a apartment can eventually affect uh, uh, that uh, room. All right, and make that room unlivable. All right, which can eventually affect the entire home and make that home unlivable. All right, so I like I like the apartment um, example. All right, so we're gonna use the apartment example. All right, and we're going to take a gas leak. All right, a small gas leak that doesn't appear to be harmful um, for the first few weeks. All right, so. Let's take a small gas leak and let's not even use gas. All right, let's say it is a toxin of some sort. All right, let's say it's a uh, perfume toxin. All right, and let's say it is constantly emit, emit, emitting um, these fumes, these toxins in your. Uh, cabinet airspace or your closet airspace. Somehow there's a there's a leak, a gas leak in that space. All right. Now it's unnoticeable. It doesn't seem uh, harmful for a few weeks, but then eventually uh, uh, that cabinet or that closet space affects that room, which can be a kitchen or or um, a bathroom. All right. So now, eventually, that bathroom becomes unlivable. All right. Why? Because you never uh, fix uh, the uh, leak. All right. So you have to properly fix the leak uh, to uh, rectify the situation. All right. So I think with that scenario, we can all see how that eventually your home will become unlivable and eventually the space around the home becomes unlivable and eventually that whole uh, region of the earth becomes unlivable and eventually uh, the earth becomes unlivable just because of that uh, um, harmful, all right, uh, slow emitting, all right, uh, uh, toxin leak, all right, in your uh, 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 space that seemed meaningless, but it can destroy the whole world, all right. So that's an example of gas uh, constantly or continuously emitting uh, poisonous fumes and contaminating our air, all right? So, we have our public notices which outlines our rules, all right? And um, we do have uh, uh, clear rules um, uh, pertaining to social media, uh, finance and um, email software. All right. So follow the rules, or your air will become affected. All right. Uh, uh, this cease details include. All right. Um, um, a cease on all misuse of. Um, irrigation uh, tools. All right. A cease on the misuse of all uh, irrigation uh, systems. All right. Um, so uh, let me um, Let me uh, 
emphasize. All right. Um, pools and public parts, public parks are for keeping cool. All right. All right. Parks uh, uh, with sprinkler systems uh, for the children uh, that are properly managed. All right. So um, there are uh, locations set up. All right. Where people can. Um, responsibly keep cool all right so this cease applies to all mismanaged resources in regards to conserving water and humidity awareness all right this cease applies to the activities mentioned and any mismanaged ongoing uh, running water systems not mentioned all right uh, cease misuse of all ir irrigation systems in some cases um, stop using these systems altogether. All right. Um, so we have decisions to make. All right. Um, for example, um, uh, some individuals, some uh, um, um, homes, they have um, automatic sprinkler systems uh, set up set up for their lawn. All right. Um, that has to cease. All right. Um, um, if it doesn't rain consistently enough for 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 that grass to grow, uh, then uh, um, you have to be able to adjust and adapt and adopt. All right. Maybe uh, there's a reason. All right. Why uh, grass isn't supposed to be growing all year round. All right. I believe that adds to humidity. All right. So if nature doesn't provide um, um, enough uh, precipitation, all right, uh, for, for, for vegetation to uh, be produced, all right, in any area, um, then uh, that should be a sign, all right, uh, 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 to uh, uh, be aware. All right. Uh, maybe, maybe uh, it's a reason. All right, that 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 that, that the rain isn't um, as plentiful um, as you would want. All right, for that to be a hobby. All right, we can uh, uh, we can find uh, uh, better ways to design to design our homes. All right, and let me mention again. Uh, excuse me. Um, let me now mention um, along with um, these details. Um, please. Um, Well, let me mention uh, uh, fire hydrants again. All right, let me mention uh, fire hydrants again. All right, uh, cease uh, the misuse of fire hydrants. All right, um, and let me uh, mention uh, uh, leaky faucets. All right, uh, can also uh, be damaging to our environment. Um, just um, um, it's, it's, it's a, it's a smaller scaled example of our, uh, perfume toxin, all right, a leaky faucet, all right, and, um, uh, the damage that, uh, a leaky faucet can bring, all right, um, I, I, I mentioned, um, I mentioned uh, rust and debris and uh, um, lack of oxygen and the, uh, the rise of temperature, all right? Um, 
early in the post. All right. Um, so, uh, so we 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 have to be mindful of uh, the overflow the overflow of water. All right, and make sure. Um, um, uh, these irrigation systems, um, and, uh, um, make sure our resources are being properly monitored and managed. All right. So, um, I am Tariq Grant, and I am the overseer of um, this public notice and all others um, that you uh, review on Platinum TV. All right. Um, you can email me any questions at Tariq.grant at gmail.com. That concludes this public notice. That email once again is Tariq.grant at gmail dot com. Tariq dot grant is spelled T A R I K dot G R A N T at Gmail dot com.